Good luck. All right, this marks round two of the All-American Summer Shogi Tournament. Uh, our opponent had a very nice first round upset that I've not yet had time to review. So I'm going to play a bit cautiously and see where we end up. Um, interesting. Okay. I'm already confused. That's not a great sign. Um. <laughs> what do I want to do against this? I know what I want to do, but it's lashing out irrationally, which is not smart. Um. I can muster a better response. Let's protect this point. Welcome. Welcome one and all. Um. <laughs> ah, try not to Nifu, try not to Nifu, try not to Nifu. We have good audience viewing. <laughs> oh goodness. Just try to focus. Um, I'm a bit annoyed because I used to play the system as Gota a bit, and I would like try to play the bishop to 5-5 five five and do some nasty tactics. Uh, and eventually, like with this pawn push and with bishop 5-5, five five, I have to watch out for stuff. Um... Because if you take here with the pawn, then bishop 5-5 five five lands. You have to block the bishop with the silver. So if you've moved the silver up, that's kind of an issue. Um, Yeah, so how do I counter this? How do I counter this so I don't embarrass myself? This looks fine. So I can activate my bishop this way. I'm curious where their king is going. I don't know if I should play something more aggressive. Like, the silver needs to come out. But I like the silver protecting the bishop. Um, this might at least discourage them from doing some on Anguma Castle over there, but, um, what I'm concerned about is, say, that I start building Mino, they push, I take Bishop 5-5, five, five, Silver up, that's true, this is pinned, but that's immaterial for the moment. Yeah, I could play this up one. Just need to be a bit cautious about the rest of my moves. This looks playable as long as I don't like exchange bishops and allow some drop here, or as long as I don't exchange pawns on this file before my king has made it behind the silver. Um. Yeah. Let's play a little bit cautiously here. But also, it'd be nice to build a high mino. Um, put my gold up to discourage this pawn advance. But pushing this pawn provokes that, doesn't it? 
Um, hmm. Yes, we're going to run away here. And so if they attack slowly, I should just expand on this side of the board toward their king. This is a weak point that I could aim at. But, um, yeah, I don't think they're attacking slowly. I really don't. Um, hmm, what to do? Just take more space over here so that they can't. Um, I don't know whether to push this edge pawn or not. In some positions it could be very useful to have pushed this. But uh, here, what am I looking at? I'm looking at, I've opened this diagonal to my knight, so if I exchange bishops, like, this is not a good position to exchange that. Um, temporarily put away the notion of developing the bishop to the edge to hit this. The timing of that seems a bit odd. I have to recapture, to the best of my knowledge. And here to prevent a... well, they're not immediately threatening a pawn drop here, but eventually they're going to threaten another thing around this part of the board. Um, so it behooves me to put this here before things get crazy. Um, right, so they take aim at the left side of the board. I keep mentioning how I don't want to exchange bishops. So in that vein, I should do something about the head of this thing. Um, but what? This is what comes to mind. Yeah, I don't think full Mino is going to benefit them here. Um... Hmm, where's my silver going? don't know. So my big idea is to push stuff here. Um, they do say push the odd file pawns in general. Um, okay, I might need this later on. I'm pushing it now. It might weaken my king to do this, but there's a good chance I might need to escape this way. Um, hmm. 
Seems like the most flexible move here. I mean, I don't like moving this gold general. The silver is a better piece to make threats with, but then this is loose, but my bishop can actually defend it. I think this is not overextended. It might not be beneficial right away to play this here. Because, like, Potentially, I might have wanted to do some other sort of development. Are they really doing that? That's incredible. Um, I did not at all expect that here. Okay. Wow. That was extremely unexpected. Um, so I could pin this pawn, but, like, here's my target. It's not easy to aim at. Um... Let's make things interesting. Prevent this from advancing. So they've committed to this low castle. I think they're comfortable with having committed to that because they don't realize just what a commitment this is. So this is the weakness. And the silver will eventually come up to defend it. Um, but in the meantime, I can pile all my pieces um, toward their king. Just continue building stuff this way, like push this pawn next. I don't know what to do about the bishop. Um, like, I kind of want to try to exploit something on this diagonal, but... This pawn's not advancing anyway. Yeah, they're working on being able to advance this pawn. Um... How the hell do I attack? It's not the right time to attack.
If I push this, they just drop the pawn on my castle's head again. I'm not ready to weather that just yet. Alright, I think through process of elimination, the move seems pretty obvious. We have to do this sooner or later. Why not now? So, if I do anything else, uh, like here, admittedly, this is a huge problem for my knight, but my knight's not concerned right now. Um, yeah, I've blocked my knight twice, so eventually that's going to be painful, but short term, my rook's content with this, my bishop's content with this. Um, there are other things I want to play, but, um, got this in place. I'm not going to push that again, because that just strengthens their position. But I can continue just encroaching one step at a time. Or maybe bring the bishop up and like somehow break this. I don't know. Although I probably want to bring the rook over if I'm going to do that. And like, if I'm doing all that, I don't know where this gold belongs. In many positions, it's fine for the gold to not join and make Fulmino. Fulmino is best against horizontal attacks, which we're not seeing here. Um, but yeah, the potential for them to just drop a pawn and redo the same tactic we observed earlier has me a bit concerned. Okay. So that's interesting. Um, hmm. I don't like that. From my point of view, um, that's uncomfortable. So they've not yet brought up their silver. This allows me to have some fun. Uh, if I were to push my silver up one. Um, not sure how fun that is, but... Really, I should be pushing the third file pawn at this point. Because um, I'm not sure what they do in response to this. I mean, clearly they want to redo the same tactic we saw earlier with this pawn exchange. But I don't see any profit in that for them. Yeah, actually, moving the silver breaks up my strong center. Let's not do that. Um, let's just keep approaching. Mm -hmm. So they've defended against bishop exchanges by like building twin gold right in the center of the board. Um, What the hell do I do? I don't know.
<sighs> Do not know. But any pawn push I do in exchange, like, does free my rook to do stuff later, but, um, I don't see how I can force a break in. Um, Well, bishop exchange is not going to happen here, so I can bring this closer to support my king. Um, if a bishop exchange were threatened, we'd consider something else, but this is fine. My problem is I don't know how to attack. And they clearly have some ideas, and I just don't. Um... Or at least I'm not proud of my ideas. So. This is what I had planned. Is it good? I don't know. I would rather have played my pawn up and gold up to like, prevent this pawn advance in the first place. But having failed at that, I can still try to stop advances with the rook. It's just not going to be successful, but um, we can try. <sighs> so now what? I mean, maybe if I had exchanged pawns, I'd at least have the pawn in hand. But I don't see a weakness in this pawn structure. The only weakness I see is that this bishop is, like, solidly trapped behind three pawns here. But that's temporary. If I had a rook in hand, this would be a weak back rank. But they could counter with a rook drop against pretty much any rook drop I have. Maybe not everyone. Maybe there is one back here. But yeah, it's difficult to gain an advantage. Um, right, so they stopped me from like doing something fun with my silver here. So I don't know what to do. Also, I have 2 minutes 55 seconds remaining. So, I'm going to try to do something, but I'm not satisfied with this. So we defend the center and allow the knight to advance. But the knight advance doesn't do anything. Um, It's 
get this pawn in hand before like too much happens. Pick a rank, they say. Pick a rank, they say. Which rank can we select? I don't know. If I were super ballsy, I'd sack the rook here. I'm not feeling it. Um, drop the rook back here. I would drop back further, but there's, I don't see any benefit. Um, that's interesting. Their rook is overloaded. Oh, they trapped their knight. Like, what the hell? Yeah, my bishop is hanging. This is not a good position for me to attack. Hmm. So confusing. It's fine. Screw it. Here we go. I don't like attacking here, because, like, if I move my lance, I create an obvious weakness. <sighs> but, like, their pressure keeps mounting against my king. And this knight would be useful to have in hand so I could drop it here to win the gold. While my promoted bishop stands guard here. So, I have some ideas. Pawn takes, lance takes, pawn drop, lance takes, rook takes, bishop takes, rook promotes. Um, knight drop, taking out this gold. It's an idea. Alternatively, pawn drop, bishop moves to defend this, and I just cry. So now I have to take the lance. This is not the greatest position for me to launch an attack from, but this position just kept deteriorating. Uh, so. Picked this. This is the position to attack. Oh, pawn drop here is possible. 
So I feel like sacking my rook. Um, don't really feel like that right now. Alternatively, I could take the knight and then take here. They retreat the bishop, I take a lance. Might not be the worst thing ever, but it looks pretty terrible. Yeah, I'm I think I'm overvaluing their king's safety. It's really not as safe as I imagine it is. My own king is kind of fried, but I think that's okay. So I have two pawns in hand. Could get a third pawn here, rook takes, and I take this. Yeah, I just don't see anything better. Let's do it. Here we go. I know this is what you had planned, but kind of I'm okay with my side of this. Despite there being very many holes. Uh, I think I'm still fine. I don't like that I see a dragon here. Like, the dragon's my favorite piece, I guess. I just find it familiar. Because rooks and chess are pretty predictable pieces. Shogi, it's kind of fun to predict where a dragon or a rook might end up. Here, I'm never going to get such a piece. So that's a little sad. But that's okay. Yeah, so knight 4-4 four, four is next. Unless, of course, they don't move the rook. Well, maybe I have a better thing than knight 4-4. Four, four. Maybe pawn drop on the bishop's head might be strong. Um, maybe. Doesn't look that way. But it'd be nice if I could force the dragon to retreat. And exchange a dragon for the horse, even though the horse is awesome and the dragon not so much. Just like dragons. They're fun. But no. Like, I should aim for the castle and not let up until I've checkmated it. So. I don't know how I'm going to checkmate with a knight. I have no idea. But I'm giving them something to think about. Uh, 
Oh, plus knight four four. They have this diagonal moving goal, which is almost always a bad shape, but they have it. So what do we do? Um, I could push this pawn and then drop a knight here, forking the silver and the pawn. When the silver moves, then I could take here and take a piece or something like that. I don't know. I thought I had an attack. Uh, like, this diagonal moving gold is a terrible thing. It doesn't defend the king. But, um, I don't see how to exploit it. If they were to do it right now, I could just drop a pawn on the rook's head, take the rook as they take my horse. Then they're going to drop the bishop somewhere, and I'm going to cry, but I'll get over it. Uh, that's weird. That is so weird. I don't understand this. Well, they have one piece protecting this bishop. Hmm. I don't know why they did that. Like, a horse is an excellent defensive piece. Um... And potentially they might have a bishop drop and it promotes and I cry, but, um, but until that happens, exchanging this horse for the rook could be interesting. Or if they move the rook away, I just take a bishop. Um, I don't get it. Maybe they hoped I would just exchange bishops. That was tempting, but this looks better. Because a rook is, uh, well, I'm not sure how strong a rook is against their castle. It still looks difficult to attack.
I guess the best I can do is exploit their loose bishop over and over. They're going to try to activate this bishop on the diagonal. But um, if I can keep attacking it and making threats while attacking it, not just hitting it, but hitting other stuff too, there might be some future here. They're considering some wild attacking ideas, I'm sure. My poor rook on h7 is suffering. I just don't know how to activate it. It's like the universe has conspired to prevent my pieces on the left side of the board from going any further. So I have to attack the long way. Sanju 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 Dio Yonju Dio
30秒Oh, wow. 40秒 I didn't even consider this pawn advancing again. That's bold. 50秒1, 2, 3, That was not on my radar. I don't think it changes anything significant. Oh gosh. Well, this game just got more interesting. <sighs> Damn. I walked right into that. I was concerned about my king's safety. Um, it's fine. I walked right into that. But it's fine. As long as my king survives, it's fine. Um, My king survives this. I was so concerned about like other bishop drops that this one did not cross my mind. Can't just ignore this, but it's not satisfying. Hmm. If they give me one tempo, I could have a more satisfying position. 
Yeah, if they delayed, I could drop a bishop and then have a horse defending my castle. Here, I almost don't want this piece. Because, like, I see the initiative, they'll start to build. I don't like this. Of course. Um, I am so dissatisfied with this outcome. But temporarily, my king is surviving. So how much can I complain? No idea. No idea what I should be doing here. I'm trying to figure it out. Like, 
Yeah, I could defend. But I just received several lectures about how I can't just defend. I need to attack too. So we're going to try to attack while defending. Unfortunately, these are not great pieces that attack and defend at the same time. So that makes this task a little bit difficult. How was our opponent 4Q? At this point, I'm just straight up impatient. So I should be spending all of my time, but I'd like to finish the game. So um, we're going to play some moves and do our best, but acknowledge the fact that I actually have emotions here. Oh, that's a problem, isn't it? Oh my god. This is not good. This is double plus ungood. Um, hmm. I have no defense here. Just getting massacred. Um, yeah, I saw this last move, but there's a serious problem with my reading. Well, okay, yeah, yeah, I guess a pawn could do it, sure. Well, I guess, oh, are they going to try to defend this silver? Maybe they're 4Q because they defend when they don't need to. Sanjubyo. Yeah, you can smell the cheese here. <laughs> this, if I end up surviving this, this is going to be such a hideous win. Um... Don't understand. Really, at this point, I just desperately want to promote the pawn so that I can drop it back here again and not get mated. Um, but one thing at a time. Oh, well, there's one thing I could do to alleviate my suffering a little bit. Let's actually drop a pawn in this corner. Uh, gives them a pawn in hand, but um, my odds of getting mated go down a little bit. Unless they have some really strong counter. Um, 
Maybe they do. I mean, this is asking for a fight, but, like, what can they do? I don't know. It terrifies me that I don't know, but I just don't know. Well, they could reinforce this. Hmm. Yeah, so... Sure, they could reinforce it. Are they going to reinforce it right away? No. Um... うん、30秒。40秒。50秒。1、2、3、4、5、6、7、8。What? Excuse me? Rep mate. If you take that, I have a checkmate. If you don't take that, very likely I have a checkmate. Um... So that's the bad news and the worst news. Checkmate. Uh, 
Oh, actually, I, I was going to take the gold next, but that's not necessary. Um, yeah. Thanks for the game. Ooh, that was an adventure. All right, so that's round two of the All American Summer Shogi Tournament. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll politely ask can we analyze from the beginning before we get too far with this endgame stuff. Otherwise, we'll never get back to the beginning. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know that you need to remember that one. That's just like, I have a lot of pieces, so I was able to find this. Uh, but yeah. Whew, stakes were high there. Um, yeah, now we know. I suspected. When we got into the end game, I'm like, wait, why is he defending so much? Um, he's more cautious than I am. Yeah. Uh, a third file versus it, so there's a lot of stuff that could happen. Yeah. It's been... Quite a ride with Shoki Wars with this stuff. So far, I think I've played okay. Um, yeah, pushing all three of these is probably not right. Um, oh, yes, absolutely, we will submit that. There's definitely some subject matter to look at there. Uh, but yeah, pushing all three of those gave my knight nowhere to go. That's a fun attack that they have. Usually the 8th file pawn gets traded, but pushing all three is in line with their book. Oh, wow. Jesus. No, I should have dropped the rook back further one or less far, but, um, I see. So, yeah, I was expecting something like this or like that or something.
Yeah. No wonder I had such a huge time deficit. They prepared this. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Imagine that. But really, would it be me if I didn't play for that? I don't know. Uh. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I see. Uh... Yeah. I see. So this is where the Joseki came from. Or his book came from. Ah. Uh, I see. So he'd applied this familiar pattern. But this position is different because my king can just run. I see. Yeah. I was getting grilled super hard here. Um. Yeah, this is such a hard position for me, anyway. Maybe for other folks this is easy somehow. Hmm, what, what to do, what to do. Well, yeah, I'm so confused. Uh, yeah, Destiny's probably right that there's some better attack available than just winning the bishop. So didn't I have some idea in mind? I'm confused. Oh, this is before I was able to do that fork. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't really like this. Um... Like this one here. Um, it just seems slow to grab that. But yeah, either way, I'm in more trouble than I realized here. But okay, we'll let them analyze that. Oh! Oh, I see. Well, that's very unfortunate, um, but I guess I see. Uh, yeah, I guess after they do this, maybe I attack like this or something. I don't know. looks very hard for me to make progress. Um, well, it looks nice. Yeah, this is what I was baited into thinking about during the game. But I think if the goal just moves up, I don't have a move, so I don't know.
Yeah. Uh, uh, so, I'm not sure what to do. Also, there's a trick I could do before attacking to defend against this stuff. Sack a pawn on 3-6. Ah, interesting. Wow. And then the silver is able to defend. Uh, yeah. No, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, so think a little bit outside the box. Uh, yeah, and he could drop a lance. Yep. Oh, rook eight seven was yes. Uh. Uh. When he pinned my rook. Oh, I see. I missed that during the game. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He didn't have to give up his bishop or horse for that. Um. No doubt I could have defended better afterward here, but, uh, yeah, as you, yeah, walking into the Rook Fork was bad because they could drop the Lance and continue the attack. Here they have attacking possibilities, but, um, somehow lost interest. <laughs> yeah, um... My king is extremely exposed, so I was afraid about something like this. Oh, I don't know if it shows on the board and I do that. My mistake. Um... Hmm... Yeah, maybe there's something I misread here. Oh, yeah, there. That's nice. Yeah, that looks crushing. So. Um. Yeah, I don't know what to do against this. I'm looking. It might take me more time to find something here. There might be something. But that looks so strong. Um, yeah. And this, again, underscores the importance of being able to move the silver up to... Well, here it doesn't matter, but be able to place a silver or a bishop or something and protect squares. Here, it was just super hard to defend stuff. So, yeah. So the point is, I can't just uh, take the silver here. I do have to react. Um, and even here, like, I can still continue building an attack. Um, I don't know if that's even best here. There might be better. But. Oh, wait. Maybe taking is... Maybe this is actually best. Because this king is still extremely exposed.
Oh, pawn on one nine was a mistake too. Because he could have taken the knight to accelerate the attack. So it's just a lost move. Okay. Um, and then the fourth file, Lance drop. Yeah. Yeah, this pawn drop that I made was much too aggressive. Um, so. Uh, yeah, it's just... Um, so when I attacked like this, uh, they left a huge hole in my castle, and we'll get there in just a second, but yeah. So there were lots of chances. So, yeah, allowing the Rook Fork was just dumb. Um, it was careless. And I should have paid, and I did not end up paying. Although during the game, I'd considered, like, not moving the Rook in the way of the other Rook, but just letting it hang and just take a free tempo instead. Um... Defend the silver first. Um, pawns, uh, lances, and knights uh, would be light pieces. Um, although a pawn might not be considered a piece, depending who you ask. Um, but yeah, this night drop of mine is desperate. Um, So, yeah, this is psychological warfare at some level, because, like, they have such a strong attack. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. They're heavy pieces. Um, so, their attack here is just overwhelmingly strong already, and their castle can withstand stuff I can throw at it. Um, but yeah, like, they played into the one thing that, um... So I don't know what to say. Yeah, this is just plain desperation on my part.
Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a good pragmatic decision. It's just, like, I feel even as far as desperate attacks go, it's the right feeling, but this implementation of the attack sucked. There's got to be some other desperate move that I can play that better suits the situation. But yeah, um, it worked. It shouldn't have worked, but um, and such is like how desperate positions go. But um, but yeah, I should have found something else, some other way to attack. Probably a ways back from here before I got my rooks forked and tried to save one of the rooks. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I had to bank on that. That was the only possibility where I win there. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Let's see, after promoting his rook, all of his moves were reactions to my moves. Yeah. So, like... When I did this night drop, at this point, I kind of, like, stopped thinking about the position um, and started thinking about, like, what can I do to upset my opponent? Um, not proud of that. But, um, yeah, why didn't I bring up the night? Uh... So, yeah, he's asking, like, why not advance the knight? Um, so, at this point, uh, so that's why I didn't advance it, it's just, like, it just can't go anywhere. Oh. Uh, they want the hat back, I guess. Fine. I guess they're talking about some other position. But it's still the same idea now. Yeah, this rook retreat was not a good square for the rook. I'm not sure there is a good square, but... I don't know. Usually comes up after this trade, and after bringing up the bishop. That's why I did what I did, because, like, I just didn't know what to do. Um, it's a reasonable idea bringing this up, so, like, oh, right, sorry. Yeah, no, you're not wrong that, like, around here that's fine, sure. Uh... Uh, yeah. So that happens. It doesn't surprise me that the evaluation graphs all over the place. So yeah, this is just a series of errors. Uh, obviously this capture here is risky because it allows this bishop fork. So I should consider this instead. But... Man, I was quaking in my boots here. Um, yeah, I 
don't really know what the hell's going on in this position. Something's happening, but um, I guess I survive. Maybe I don't know. Um, it just seemed like his attack was proceeding so much faster, and I could not find a way to make any headway against this castle. That's what had me worried. It's like if I can't have an attack. And clearly they have an attack. Like, what am I doing? Um, yeah. So that's why I was scared. I just couldn't find an attack for myself. Um, what was this? Yeah, no, actually... By this time they've messed up. So... Yeah, I thought I was going to drop the bishop... Yeah. Um. Oh, seven, eight. Yeah, there were a couple possible bishop drops here. There's like five, eight, seven, eight. I don't know. I couldn't find a way to justify it. It got very complicated, but. Maybe it's okay. Um, not sure. Um, can I trap this dragon? I don't know. No, absolutely not. I cannot trap it, so... Yeah, I... I thought about uh, this one here, trying to defend there, and if they take this, then I can go back and like make room for uh, another guard for my castle seemed plausible to me. Um, yeah. It's just too much to figure out. But, um, yeah. Um, here he just reacted to my moves. Uh, in, uh, it's uh, easy to get excited, yeah. So, um, I take this here. Yeah, it's a fun game. Um, <laughs> uh, well, let's see. Where was it fun until, um. Yeah, after this point, like, this position starts getting dubious very quickly. Um, so, I didn't really enjoy exploiting my opponent. Like, with chess on numerous occasions, I've enjoyed that too much. And then I get other opponents and I get my rear end handed to me, so... I've started to learn that exploiting opponents is not a fun thing. Um, yeah. Oh, just exchange bishops so they take back... Okay, that's good to know. I should just leave that open then. Or, yeah. You're right. Yeah, I should do that. <sighs> Bishop exchange positions are so difficult for me to evaluate, but I should look at that a bit more. Yeah, um, yeah, so I was looking at stuff like this. Oh, wait, I actually played this in the game, didn't I? Uh, I was looking at stuff like this. Um, 
So I have like ideas like this and this, and I'm not sure where else I could threaten stuff. Um, uh, yeah, I still wanted to push this. Um, yeah, so I still needed to do that, um, but here, like, I don't know where we go next. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh. Yeah, we got to make some time for that. That's yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh <laughs> That would be something. Uh But yeah, I guess we'll see. Um Yeah, like this whole time you could still do this. Yeah. I mean, sure, I've got a token, but like, they've got a very, very strong initiative. So, like, say I actually do this, this is just mate. Um, yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, I guess you're right, I need to study some bishop exchange stuff. Not be so afraid about it. Be more open minded. Um, because yeah, getting massacred like this is not great. Um, yeah, at this point, there's no defense. Uh, ah, I see. Uh, been uh, there, done that. Uh, uh, don't forget about their king. Uh, so, yeah, I don't really know what else to say, but, uh, played many chess tournament games. Uh, exploited many opponents emotions eventually I'd uh, get paired with stronger opponents uh, so yeah don't really enjoy playing for tricks uh but here kind of had to do it so yeah i guess they got this stuff i mean uh, it just ended up being what it was yeah i'm not sure how to defeat that yeah it sure worked this time Well, uh, a crazy game, maybe a, a teaching ladder or elsewhere we'll face again sometime. I know they're trying to show variations and stuff, but like, 
at this point they're using an engine to generate their analysis uh which i guess it's kind of fun but it's more interesting to see what people think of these things unless there's some awesome tactical sequence that really justifies having people look at an engine together yeah 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 <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a cool game. Hope we all enjoyed this. Oh, great. Don't zoom out. Yeah, so we'll just have to study some Bishop Exchange or something and defeat two Don Lily. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, hope we all enjoyed this.